Right, in this video, we are going to completely sketch this curve, okay? And in doing that, what I mean by completely sketching a curve, I want to know where it crosses the y-axis, I want to know where it crosses the x-axis, and I want to know the vertex, coordinates of the vertex, okay? So there's a lot of information that we're going to need to find. Now, the first one there was find where it crosses the y-axis. It crosses the y-axis at minus 30, okay? So we can already say that. So in building up this picture, I already know it crosses at minus 30, okay? Now, what else? We need to find the vertex, coordinates of the vertex. So in order to do that, we're going to need to complete the square on this. So in completing the square, remember, factorise the first two terms. So we're going to get 2, uh, lots of x squared plus 2x, and we're still going to get minus 30 on the outside. Um, then I complete the square on what's inside the bracket. So we've got x plus 1 all squared take away 1, take away 30 on the outside. Multiply through, so we've got two lots of x plus 1 all squared take away 2, take away 30. So we've got two lots of x plus 1 all squared take away 32. So the coordinates of the vertex are minus 1, minus 32. So minus 1, minus 32, so very close, so something like there. Okay, so we know that the vertex is at minus 1, minus 32, so the curve can go something like that. Okay, the next most interesting part is going to be where it crosses the x axis, and in order to do that, uh, I can use uh, factorizing, I can use completing the square and solving, or I can use the quadratic formula. So even if I've already completed the square, you could set this equal to zero and solve it that way, okay? That might, may well be a nice, easy way of doing it. I'm, for the hell of it, going to uh, factorise it, okay? So I'm going to notice, first off, that each of these terms has a factor of two. So I can take two outside of the whole thing, like that. And then I can factorise this bracket. So we're going to have x and x. And two numbers that multiply together make minus 15, but add together to make 2 would be plus 5 and minus 3. So we know that it crosses the x-axis at minus 5 and positive 3. So that's positive 3 and that's minus 5. Okay? So that is how we can use the skills that we've learnt in order to completely sketch a curve, to go from its equation, from its quadratic equation, to what it would look like on the graph, using completing the square and factorising. And albeit you could use complete the square or the quadratic formula to do that job. Okay? And that's how you can completely sketch a curve.